Here are three farms in Minecraft that you can build in under 10 seconds, under a minute and under 10 minutes. So whatever time you have, you can build a farm. Let's start with the 10 second farm first. And these are the items you're gonna need for a very small sugarcane farm. The timer is ready and let's go. First add some building blocks, redstone and an observer. Dig a hole, add some water and boom! Just a little bit over 7 seconds for this micro farm. This little farm produces about 4 sugarcane per hour, so not the fastest farm on earth, but since it only takes 10 seconds, you can easily expand it. For the next farm, we have exactly 1 minute to build it. It will be located in the nether and it's gonna be a pigling bartering farm. This is the stuff we will need. Pull up the timer and let's go. First, you're gonna dig out some blocks to build the collection area. Then add some glass and this whole sand like this. The blocks doesn't have to be glass if you don't want to. You can use whatever blocks you want for the walls. Now we need to bait in the piglin, so drop some gold on the ground and wait for the piglin to come by and pick up the gold, then you can push him in. After that, build the last side up and also add a roof on top. Add the pressure plate on top of the soil sand like this. Then replace the piston with a dropper and build some more walls around the pressure plate. These walls are needed so that the gold will stay on the pressure plate and won't be dropped on the ground where the piglin can't get to it. Add a button on the soil sand and you can remove the temporary blocks. And it's ready! Took me a little over 52 seconds. Now you just add some gold into the dropper and press the button. The farm will work until you run out of gold. And this is how much stuff it produces and we built this farm under a minute. That is of course if you have enough gold to keep it running for an hour. Moving on to the 10 minute farm now. This one is gonna be the famous spawner xp farm. First we need to find the spawner and this one here will work just fine. Now I can start the timer, light up the spawner so no mobs can spawn. Then start expanding the room around the spawner so that the skeletons have more room where to spawn to. When done, the room should be 9 by 9 and 5 blocks high. So 2 empty blocks above and below the spawner. This is the optimal size when building a spawner XP farm. And when the room is done, you will need to add some more lights. Up next, make an infinite water source. And place 2 water buckets in the corners like this. This will push all of the mobs who spawn to the middle. Also refill your buckets and remove the infinite water source. Now I'm going to dig out the blocks that are not covered with water. Now it should look like this. Next dig a 3 blocks deep tunnel in the middle. Go 3 more blocks like this and then 2 more to the bottom. Add fences in those 2 bottom holes. And add a soul sand. Next remove the first row of blocks that are covered with water. This will help to get the water flowing into the middle. And now you can add two signs right over here. Let's go on top of the soul sand now and dig up exactly 25 blocks. And as we are on the top here, you can place down a water. Break the temporary blocks and let the water flow down. The next step is to add kelp in the water so it creates bubbles and lifts up the mobs. When the kelp column is done, you can go back down and break the kelp tower. Dig out one more block back here so that the elevator will work smoothly. Now when going up with the water flow, make another 3 block steep tunnel. At the end of the tunnel, add a sign over here. Now dig down 23 blocks for the mobs to fall to. And make some more room for the killing area at the bottom here. You can design the room however you want. There are no specific requirements. Make some space and place your chest and a hopper. Go one more layer deeper. And after that add some blocks like this. And now comes the last step. Go and dig in the right direction of your spawner. And go and break all the torches. So there is no light and the spawner can work. 
Now we can go back and close the hole. And the farm is done, almost exactly 7 minutes and 10 seconds. Now you just gotta wait here and the skeleton will spawn and come right to you. This farm produces over 1200 bones and arrows per hour when using looting tree. So not bad for a farm that you can build in under 10 minutes. Those are the three farms, thanks for watching, see ya!